Okay, so there's a lot going on with the Chicago Bears. Um, but we're gonna sum it up for you. Two things going on. One of the more important ones is that Matt Nagy, uh, head coach Matt Nagy, and general manager Ryan Pace will be keeping their jobs for the 2021 season. Um, and the other thing is that their defensive coordinator Chuck Pagano has retired after two seasons with the team. We'll we'll get to that in just a second. I want to talk about Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace first. Um. They started the season five and one and ended the season eight and eight after losing eight of last uh, of their last eleven games and finished one and seven versus playoff teams. And just this past Sunday, they lost to the Saints twenty one to nine in the wild card game. Uh, Nagy has been the head coach of the Bears since twenty eighteen, and oddly enough, he won the coach of the year that year. Um, despite despite on uh, uh, consecutive eight and eight seasons, they've had they've made the playoffs two times in three years. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Pace just finished his sixth year as the Bears GM. Both are given one more year to get the Bears over the hump. They, they is confirmed that they're not be getting extensions right now. Um, as for uh, Chuck Pagano, he said he announced his retirement after two seasons with the Bears. Uh, he was hired by the Bears on January 11, 2019, after spending six years as the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts, and was replaced. Um, and was um, uh, he replaced Vic? Uh, Vic? Uh, uh, Fangio, who is currently the head coach of the Broncos, and this was written by Jeff Dickerson, who was an ESPN staff writer. Um, I'll start with you first, Mari. What do you think of this? Um, I'll start off with the GM. First of all, the Browns, uh, excuse me, not the Browns, the Chicago Bears GM, uh, Ryan Pace. I'm gonna be honest. I think he, I think I think he's done a good job. I do. Let me explain. I think he's done a good job, Ryan Pace. Think about it. Really think about it. This guy signed one of the most dominant defensive players you will ever see in Khalil Mack, okay? This guy has drafted Akeem Hicks. He has drafted Eddie Jackson. He has he has Kyle Fuller. He has took in Jimmy Graham. He has drafted Cole Komet, okay? This guy is not a bad GM. By no means this man is a bad GM, okay? That defense is very stacked, okay? That offense, Allen Robinson, Darnell Mooney, they have a good team. They have a decent team, okay? That I have no problem with, okay? It's Matt Nagy I have a problem with. That's my problem right there. You need to move on from this man. Big time. Totally. You got You got to get – he's got to go. I'm sorry. I'm not a – you know what? I'm glad they kept him because it helps my Vikings. But listen, okay? Matt Nagy, if I'm the B- Chicago Bears, I'm getting rid of him. I'm being honest. Like, yeah, I agree. Two eight and eight, basically two, two unsuccessful seasons. That's what it is. I don't care that they made the playoffs. They were unsuccessful. They basically made the playoffs by default. They, yeah, basically, you, you <laughs> they didn't make the playoffs because they won the last game. No, 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 no. They got spanked by the Green Bay Packers. They made the playoffs because the Cardinals couldn't beat the Rams. That I think is embarrassing, right there. That is. Their only decent win was against Houston. Am I lying? I don't think I am. No, you're not. They had a six-point win against Minnesota. Well, Minnesota's defense ain't that great, and we were six points down, okay? They got completely destroyed by Green Bay. Then they go into New Orleans, and they get destroyed by them, too. Yeah, right. This is not – I'm sorry, but, like, Matt Nagy is not the answer. His play yes. clone has not been there. It has not. They've had a decent win against the Bucs. But let me tell you something. If it wasn't for Brady uh, not understanding what down he was at, they probably would have lost that game, too. So I'm being honest. This is not my dislike for the Bears. If I'm a Bears owner or whatever, I am getting rid of Matt Nagy. I agree. Matt Nagy, I think, is the issue to the reason why the Bears can't get over that hump. And there are a lot of guys. And there are a lot, a lot of guys who are, especially offensive coordinators, defensive coordinators, there's a lot of guys who are looking for an NFL job, you know? Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of guys who I believe could do a better job than Matt Nagy. I agree. So with that being said, I don't agree. So now we're gonna go to Chuck Pagano. Well, first of all, Chuck Pagano, I mean, salute to him on a great career. He was a deep, he was a very good head coach for the uh, Indianapolis Colts. I right. respect the hell out of this man because this man battled cancer and won. He was a dominant defensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens. He's had a very great career. He's obviously defense a gr- good defensive coordinator for the Chicago Bears. Obviously, that defense is a very dominant defense besides the last few weeks that he was there. Um, I just think it's time for uh, Chuck Pagano to. Re- I just think this is definitely the time for Chuck Pagano to retire. I think he's got nothing else to prove. He showed how great his defensive mind is, and um, again, salute to Chuck Pagano. 
Yeah, first I want to start with Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace. I, I agree with what you say about uh, Ryan Pace. My problem with him is now a lot of people are probably going to be like, well, what's your problem with him that he uh, uh, tra- tra- uh, drafted up for Mitch Trubisky over uh, Pat Mahomes? I can't really say that's a problem because no one knew Patrick Mahomes was going to be good. He, he knew he was going to be good, but we didn't know he was going to be this good. You feel me? So I mean I can't really blame him for that. You know, I'll you know every everything has different outcomes. Right. And not only and I get and I get that's such a big move that they took Mitchell Trubisky with the second pick. I understand that. But when you really look at all the guys he has taken, you really don't it's really not that bad. Like right. you look at all the guys he has taken, and he has built such a dominant defense, and that offense isn't too bad either. So really yeah, Ryan Pace had made one bad decision and is gonna right. get a lot of hate for it. And I'm gonna be honest. I, uh, I mean, Mitch, I think Mr. Trubisky will be a better backup. I mean, if you look at him in the start of the season, he wasn't doing that great. I mean, despite their five and one start, he really wasn't playing all that great. But then when Nick, when Nick Foles comes in, he wasn't doing great either, and he gets injured. Mr. Trubisky comes back in, he does his thing, and he was actually playing. And, and, and I didn't think I'd be saying this anytime soon, but he wasn't playing that bad. So I think I think Mitch Trubisky reminds remind me a little bit like Nick Foles, not too much, but just a little bit. Um. So with that, with that said, I think Ryan Pace in this draft he needs to look for a quarterback. It might be a little hard, but I'm sure you can do it. As for Matt Nagy, I I completely agree with you. I think this guy needs to go. And and I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, Mario. If the Bears did not make the playoffs, he would have been fired. I know that sounds a little silly, but if you really think about it, him making the playoffs despite eight and eight adds something to his resume. He make the playoffs that adds on to your positive resume. He's gonna keep that job. But if he doesn't make the playoffs, that's not adding to your resume. Yeah, ass is getting kicked out of there. Excuse me for my language. I really, I, and I absolutely agree. You've got this dominant defense. You actually, you actually have a really underrated offense if it's clicking on all four cylinders. And you know, you just can't get it going. You know, I don't get what I don't get what the I don't get what the problem is there. So with that said, you know, I think Mac Nagy needs to go. I really do. You know, a lot, a lot of guys think he shouldn't, but I think he should. I really do. I, I think he is. I think he is holding this team back to its true potential. And you know, despite that 2018 season, I said it with a lot of other coaches that got fired. You had that one good season. The question is, are you able to do it again? And he wasn't able to do it again. Well, I think the Bears need to look at that decision and be like, oh man, we made a bad choice. Uh, say, uh, Ashford Chuck Regano, You know, like you said, you know, great defensive coordinator for. Uh, the Bears and the Ravens. He was a great. He was a great head coach for the uh, Indianapolis Colts. Uh, too bad he didn't win a ring with them. That those those teams were really good too. Um. So you know, uh, salute to Chuck Pagano. Um. But we don't want to wish bad on everybody. Um. In these situations, we wish we wish uh, Matt Nagy, Brian Pace, and Chuck Pagano the best of luck. Even though we don't absolutely really, even though we don't really want Matt Nagy coaching in the NFL, but we're gonna wish him the best of luck anyway because that's just what we do here. So with that said. Uh, best of luck to the Chicago Bears, Matt Nagy, and Ryan Pace, and we'll see where this goes from here.